What even is a philosopher? I don't know what a yeah, philosopher is. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, I seriously yeah, yeah. don't know what a philosopher is. Do you need to do you need to have a PhD to be a philosopher? See, that's I mean, what no. I want that's what I want to ask you, dude. Like the you publish like a... <laughs> uh, you publish more than a lot of professional philosophers. Um if you're not a philosopher, then it's like then we just need a new term, or that term has lost its its meaning. It can't I don't know, man. I don't, I, want I don't it know to what be... it is either. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like what what is a philosopher? I mean, it it can it be like is having a PhD required? Well, then what about like Plato? Did he have a PhD? No. <laughs> does, uh, does Swinburne have a PhD? Okay, so he so Swinburne's quite old, and he has the degree program that they had way back when for like right. in his education. So it's not a strict. Right. I don't think it's like a strict PhD as we currently conceive of it. Right. Um, so I remember. Like I remember reading about one. it. Yeah, so yeah. like you don't get to call Swinburne uh, a philosopher. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, that's a reductio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really yeah. weird. Like, do you have to be publishing? But like, you don't have to be publishing. Someone could have just gotten their PhD and then they maybe they teach philosophy to people at like a community college and they don't publish or anything. <clears throat> They're right. still a philosopher. So like, right. you don't need to publish, but you also don't need a PhD. Um, I mean, it seems as though if someone who's like actively in the field, they're actively publishing, they're publishing books and articles in top academic presses. That seems to qualify them as a philosopher, doesn't it? But yeah. I, I just, I don't know. I yeah. don't know what a philosopher is. <laughs> I, I mean, you I had the I, answer, man. <laughs> yeah, no. See, I lean towards more inclusivism on this. Like, I okay. tend to think that way more people are philosophers than than people think. I mean, because you can distinguish. Like, listen, uh, I'm a soccer player. I'm not a professional soccer player, but I'm a soccer player, yeah. right? So people can be philosophers without being professional philosophers. I guess so. That's a that's a distinction in that sense. Anyone who's like interested in philosophy, who reads it, and so on. And who is like kind of committed to doing what philosophy is? I guess they they would qualify as a philosopher. Maybe they wouldn't ipso facto qualify as a professional philosopher. Yeah. But but then what do you need for a professional philosopher? That's I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's like well, some if you, if uh, if a dude read our whole list of philosophy books, and then started a YouTube channel and started making bank, like <laughs> he's not a professional philosopher. So he's making his whole living and he's making more than three philosophers put together at Oxford. And, like, and he could be teaching at the exact same level and he could still be, he could even have more knowledge than those sorts of with these, a like, way bigger audience. And yeah. Way with more a way money. bigger audience, way more influence. And, more but money. I'm, and I'm, and I'm like, yeah, but you're not like publishing in journals. Like you should be doing that. But it's like, <laughs> what, but Plato didn't publish in journals. Like, okay, well, Plato, that's back. You know, it's like, it's tough, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I lean towards more of the inclusivist. Like, more people are philosophers than we think. Like, you're That's a philosopher, good. I'm a philosopher. A lot of the people who are listening right now are probably philosophers. Interesting. Um, as for what's a professional philosopher, I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> That's good.